Hi, I'm Mike Rankin, Editor-in-Chief of InDesign Secrets, and in this video I'll show you how the Ignore Text Wrap feature gives you flexibility in creating layouts with photos and captions. Here in my document I have a placed image with a captioned text frame underneath, and I want them to appear at the top of the first column in this page and have the body text wrap around them. So I'll select them both and drag them over. And to get the body text out of the way, I'll click once on the image frame with the selection tool and use the control panel to turn on text wrap. And you can see that pushes away the body text and the text of the caption. Since the caption text frame sits entirely within the area of the text wrap, there's nowhere for the caption to go, so it becomes overset. But I don't want to move this frame, and I also don't want to decrease the size of the text wrap. Instead, what I can do to fix this problem is to use the ignore text wrap feature. With the text frame selected, I can go to the object menu and choose text frame options. And in the general tab down near the bottom is ignore text wrap. I'll turn on preview and then click ignore text wrap. And now the caption text frame is no longer overset, but the text wrap applied to the image frame is still pushing away the body text just like I want. I'll click OK to close the dialog box. And note that you could also group an image with a caption frame and apply the text wrap to the group. In that case, you wouldn't need to use ignore text wrap since the wrap only applies to objects outside the group. But if you can't group the image and caption, say because they had to be kept on separate layers, then ignore text wrap is the way to go. Also, if you're going to have a lot of images with captions in your layout, you should create a caption frame object style that includes the ignore text wrap option. That way, you don't have to manually turn it on for each frame. So with my caption frame selected, I'll go to the Object Styles panel and hold Option or Alt and click the New Style button. In the dialog box, I'll call my style Caption Frame. And in the Text Frame General Options, I'll make sure that Ignore Text Wrap is selected. And now I have a style that I can apply to all my caption text frames so they won't be affected by text wrap. Hey, thanks for watching this video, and if you want lots more tips like this, be sure to check out InDesignSecrets.com and subscribe to InDesign Magazine.